Hi everybody, welcome back to Tuesdays at Two. I'm Leslie here with Emily. Now the year 2020 has been the year our lives have come to a screeching halt, right? The hard work, the late nights, early mornings, getting kids off to school and to work and all that caffeine have been the hallmarks of our lives and great entrepreneurs of this generation. Yeah. And the pandemic struck, right? And I will attest that even in the pandemic, I still drink copious amounts of caffeine. <laughs> but, office, but offices have closed, right? People mm -hmm. began working from home and many of the engineers, entrepreneurs, and product designers who defined the, the burnout culture yeah. packed their bags and left. Wow, crazy. And its offices have been swapped for country homes. People's mm -hmm. attitudes towards work have shifted with them, right? right? With no colleagues to compete with, no coworkers to share a common culture with. Those long hours have been replaced by focused productivity, right? With nobody around, work is really just work, right? right? People do it because it's necessary and then move on with their day. Mm -hmm. While there may have been something fun about being in an office with others, when you're working alone from home, there's really little glory, right? And staring at your laptop for longer than necessary. Mm -hmm. So while few are ready to admit this, the truth is the vast majority of people are not working the same hours that they used to. And a large portion are surely not working as many hours. Mm -hmm. In spite of that, or perhaps because of that, 76% of companies have reported that remote work has either helped or had no wow. effect on employee productivity. Okay. So wow. it's not detrimental in any way. In less than four months, a culture that defined our society and our economy has been upended, and it appears the economy is no worse off. Mm -hmm. So while many companies are suffering right now, few seem to be complaining about widespread lack of employee productivity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because right now a new work-life balance is developing, right? And we believe that it will outlast this pandemic. So of course, offices will reopen and human connection will once again right. be an important part of a, the fabric of any corporation, right? right? But one lasting effect on this tragic crisis may very well be a newfound realization that output, not hours, is what counts in business, okay? Perhaps ultimately technology exists to enable us to spend more time with our loved ones, right? Man, more so time am. pursuing happiness more time developing our passions, okay? Right. And maybe it did take this pandemic to realize that that's the possibility, right? Mm -hmm. So let us know, we'd love to hear what you guys have been doing during the pandemic and how working from home has affected your life and your company and your employees' lives. Um, hopefully, you know, there is a little silver lining in, in this pandemic right. um, and this may be the way of the future. So we'd love to know um, what you think and how you're handling it, okay? Yes, tell us in the comments. Yes, definitely. So for this week's Tuesdays at 2, I am Emily with Leslie. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye, guys.